We're going to look at how to convert recurring decimals into fractions. Now, this is reasonably tricky, but we'll start with the fairly straightforward examples. I'm going to use algebra to help us in this. You might be asked to convert 0.8 recurring. That's the same as 0.88888, and that goes on forever, into a fraction. And the way I'm going to go about doing this is showing that 0.8 recurring, I'm going to call that D. That's going to be D for decimal. I'm going to use a little trick that we'll, we'll get used to using, and, and you'll see why we do this in a moment. I'm actually going to multiply this by 10 and say that 10 times my decimal is 8.8888 and so on. And the reason I'm doing that is because if I now do this bottom line and subtract this top line, okay, so what would 10D minus D be? So 10D's take away a D will be 9D. And on this side, something really clever happens. So I've got 8 to take away nothing, which is 8. And then I get 8 take away 8, 8 take away 8, 8 take away 8, 8 take away all the way along. So this whole recurring decimal part gets cancelled out and disappears. And that's the clever part. So I've now got that 9D is equal to 8. And it should follow that if I just divide both sides by 9, I get that D, my original decimal, is equal to 8 ninths. So this decimal, 0.8 recurring, is equal to, or equivalent to, not, um, 8 over 9. I can use a calculator to show that. If I just put in 8 divided by 9, it will come up with 0.8888888 recurring. That 9 on the end is just because it's rounded it to however many decimal places. Show you one more example, similar, a little bit trickier. This time it's 0 0.52 recurring, so 0 0.52525252. So I'm going to start off the same kind of way again. I'm going to say that D, I'm going to define D to be 0 0.525252, etc. Um, this time, if I multiply by 10, I'll just do that and show you what happens. If I multiply by 10, then I get 5. 2525 five, five. and you can see that these numbers aren't lined up correctly they're they're matched up with the wrong number so i don't want to do that a much better choice here is to go for multiplying by 100 and that will give me 52.5252 two. And by choosing 100, you can see that the 5 lines up with the 5, and the 2 with the 2, and the 5 with the 5, and the 2 with the 2, and that's going to go on forever. So subtracting again, 100 Ds take off D, leaves me 99D, and 52 take nothing is 52, and all the other parts will go away. 5 take 5, 2 take 2, 5 take 5, 2 take 2, and so on. So I'm just left with that. 99D equals 52, and therefore D equals... 52 over 99, and if we have a calculator available, 52 divided by 99, 0 0.525252, which is the decimal we wanted. Again, the 3 on the end is just because of rounding. Um, that's it. Uh, you'll get used to whether you multiply by 10 or 100, and it's largely to do with how many recurring decimals there are, how many decimal places. That's it.